today we're going to slow it down just a little bit. I know it's really easy to try to look for recipes that are really fast all the time and not time consuming, but every now and then it's good to slow down and make something that you wouldn't normally make every day. I've made this bread recipe a few times and each time it has turned out the same. It's consistent. It's, it's very, very good fresh bread. So I thought I would share this recipe with you all. We're going to start with 14 ounces of warm water. Pour it in the bowl without trying to make a mess. Then we're going to add two teaspoons of salt. A half a teaspoon of instant yeast. This is the one that I use. It's a little dark. Sorry about that. It says rapid rise, instant yeast, fast acting. Half a teaspoon. Then we're going to use three and a half cups of bread flour. And this is the kind that I use. I'm going to stir it up. I found that the plastic spoon handle, if you don't have one of those big fancy mixers, this seems to work just as well. I'm just going to stir it until all of the flour is wet. And you'll see the dough form somewhat of a ball. take and we'll cover this with plastic wrap and since we used warm water we're gonna let this sit for two to three hours I like to allow mine to sit in the oven with the oven light on because it's a draft free environment that stays warm so we'll let this proof and we'll check back in a little bit okay it's been about two hours so I'm gonna pull this bread out of the oven where it's been sitting to proof we're gonna take the plastic spoon and pull and degas the dough this mimics what a dough hook would do. Okay, once we do that, we're going to just sprinkle a little bit of flour on top so that it won't be quite so sticky. I'm going to scrape this out of the bowl into a pan so that we can finish proofing the dough. I like to put a little flour in the pan also. Hopefully keep it from sticking. Sprinkle a little bit more on top. I'm gonna cover this with a towel 
and put it back in the oven with just the oven light on and let it sit for another one to two hours to proof. It comes up. So we're gonna uncover this. And as you can see, it's a little more than doubled in size. I took this Dutch oven and warmed it in the oven. And I'm gonna spray it with a little nonstick spray. If you don't have a Dutch oven, that's fine. You can bake this in really any kind of pan that will help it to hold some sort of shape so that it doesn't run off the edges. I'm just gonna take this and just dump this over into this other pan. And then as it bakes, it'll spread and make its shape. Okay, we're gonna bake this in a 400 degree oven. That took about 35 to 40 minutes for it to get done. And let's dump it out so that it doesn't continue to overcook. I just dump mine out onto a piece of aluminum foil because I'm not a fancy baker. I don't have any cooling racks. I guess I need to put that on my list. It smells so good. Oh, I just wish you could smell it right now. I'm gonna let this cool for a few minutes and then I will cut it so that you can see what it looks like inside. Okay, maybe it's cooled just enough for us to see what the inside looks like. The outside is chewy, but the inside is really soft. Perfect. Please like, subscribe, and share. Be sure to check back for more videos. Thank you for watching.